Shafak is the author behind the children's book illustrated by Yavar that you see in the other room. And tours will be given afterwards by Javad, in case you missed them earlier. Um, and Shafak is a journalist by profession. She's been covering U.S. foreign policy toward Eurasia. Part of her own family is from Karabakh, from Agdam. Shafak is the recipient of our foundation's Spirit of Karabakh Award in 2010. As I mentioned, she's the leader of our Azerbaijani Radio Hour. But she didn't bring it with her. Yeah, well, next time. Anyway, Javad's mom, come on up. Thank you very much, Diana. First of all, I would like to thank Carval Foundation and your whole wonderful team for giving a community and art lovers in Washington a second chance in one month to get to know uh, Azerbaijani American artists and their work. Oh, okay. um, it's, um, it's a terrific very beautiful gallery, and I'm. And this exhibition is very special to me, just like uh, Oya Bed and Leila, because, uh, uh, like Diane said, I grew up most of the summers walking around and you know riding around those places that are reflected on those paintings, and it's truly tragic that we cannot go back there these days. But of course, everyone is hopeful that there will be a day when when we will be able to go back. Um, I have known Yavet and uh, Leila for eight years now, and in their case, talent indeed runs in the family, no doubt about that. So no wonder when I um, had this idea to write my first children's book about a year and a half ago, uh, Yavet was the first person who I called to draw uh, original illustrations for the book. Uh, it's a book about a little hedgehog named Kirpi, and for those who don't know, Kirpi means hedgehog in Azerbaijani, so as you see, I didn't have to work hard to come up with a name for the main character, and uh, he doesn't like himself, and he has a little problem, and his friend in the forest, Wise Owl, helps you to sort that problem out. Um, I think some of you who have kids may agree that raising children, especially in America these days, are pretty tough because they grow up, no matter how much you try to isolate them, they grow up with this uh, image that mainstream media tells them what to wear, what to like, you know, how to look. And I think uh, I just wanted to remind to our youngsters once again that you have to like who you are. If you have a problem, uh, don't try to change yourself, change the perspective, change the attitude, change the way you look at things. Uh, because it's not every day in life that you just, you know, push one button or you slide down the pole and you turn into the superhero that is not vulnerable and can do anything. But in life it's a little bit different. So anyway, we, I think we came up with about eight to ten prototypes for Kirby the Hedgehog and about four to five prototypes for, for the wise owl. And we picked the ones that you can see back there on the wall. And the interesting thing is that uh, any friend that I showed the book, the illustrations to, told me, wow, the hedgehog looks Azerbaijani. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess not just the author and the illustrator are Azerbaijani. <laughs> But our little hedgehog came out looking other white hand as well. So thank you very much for coming today and bringing the book here. Of course, the main reason why the book is here is because it's part of the uh, exhibition. And we decided to bring it here to sort of test waters today and see how you guys like it. So please feel free to stop by after the exhibition and let us know if it's any good. And we hope we will be able to publish this book someday. Uh, because a lot of things that I had in mind writing that book was also from Karabakh. Uh, like Yabba said, Karabakh is very green, it has a lot, of, uh, a lot of forest area. And those of you who haven't been to Azerbaijan yet, we have incredibly beautiful national parks. If you have a chance to visit, please, uh, someday. It has 9 out of 11 climatic uh, regions uh, known in the world. So thank you very much for coming, and I'd like to thank Carval Foundation once again for this wonderful opportunity.